When you access Microsoft Excel 2007 Help, you are presented with the Excel 2007 Help homepage. This lists a series of topics that are available to you to search for the information that you are looking for. One thing you need to understand about the Help system is that now it is linked to Microsoft Online. Notice that down here in the lower right hand corner it tells you that you are connected to Microsoft Office Online. What this means is whenever you click a topic here to access help on it, you are actually going out over the internet to find information about that topic. Therefore, you are going to get the most up-to-date information available for Microsoft Office products. Once you click a topic, you will begin to drill down into more information relevant to just that topic. Then you can access the actual information that you might be looking for. You can read through this information, find what you are looking for and move on or if you need to you can print it by coming up here to your options toolbar and clicking the print button. Notice that up here in the options toolbar you are presented with some buttons that look very much like those buttons used in a web browser. You have a back button, a forward button, a stop button, and a refresh button. You can back through all the pages you have visited by clicking the back button as well as go forward through the pages you had visited once you go back through them. You can stop a load as well as refresh a page. You need the refresh button because you are connected to Microsoft Office Online. Notice that also in the options toolbar you have a home button. If you click the home button you will move immediately back to the home page. You also have a show table of contents button. If you click the table of contents button you are presented with a list of table of contents that you can begin to drill down to the topic that you are looking for. Also note that the table of contents is really a toggle button. If you click it a second time it will collapse the table of contents and if you click it again it will open the table of contents back up. You can also use the type words to search for field to type in different terminology or keywords for topics you are interested in finding more information about. Let's say you are looking for more information on lookup functions. I would go ahead and type in lookup and then press enter on my keyboard and notice it's searching Microsoft Office Online. Again, you are going out to the internet and to Microsoft Office Online homepage to find the most current topics about the keyword or term that you typed in. You can change this to search. Right now, by default, it's set to search all of Excel. You can change it to search for just Excel help or for Excel templates, training, developer reference. And when you install Excel on your computer, you are also installing help files for your help system there as well. You can search just on your computer, not going out to Microsoft Office Online. There are times when you will be using your computer and you won't be connected to the internet. You will want to change the setting to content from this computer, Excel Help, or the Developer Reference Center. So you can see the Microsoft Excel Help System is quite robust. You can search both on your computer as well as Microsoft Office Online. We will look at how to access Microsoft Online in the next lesson.